So let's finish off our study of recursive algorithms and uh, the recurrence relationship that uh, describe their time complexity. Let's look at the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence has uh, multiple algorithms that could describe uh, that could describe it. First, there's the ordinary iterative algorithm, and this one runs in big O of n. So you would basically just keep track of the past two elements and then add them up. So you keep on tracking the past two elements, add them up, and then you would reach your particular element. Uh, there's the recursive algorithm, and this one, it turns out, uh, runs uh, in big O of 2 to the n, so it suffers a certain performance hit here. And then the, finally, there's a matrix multiplication algorithm. So this particular expression, and this tells us that the Fibonacci of n, or Fibonacci of n plus 1, is expressed as this. So there's this matrix multiplication. There's a matrix raised to the power of n times uh, this base case. And you could prove this by uh, mathematical induction. We'll leave this to another video. Um, but if you actually just tried to expand this, this is just a constant step here. There's a multiplication. But in this case, if you look at this matrix multiplication, and you decided to use um, recursive uh, power, so what we looked at earlier, recursive power, we decided and, and we said that it was a big O of log n base 2, then you would come out with the, this, uh, per, uh, this, this uh, um, time complexity. So the Fibonacci algorithm could actually be reduced to r running a big O of log n base 2. Um, so we have an advantage here over the iterative solution. And finally, let's look at the uh, merge sort algorithm. Merge sort is basically sorting a list. Uh, s say you, you have a list of numbers and you wanted to sort them the way you would do it, you would, uh, in, under merge sort, is you would divide the list in two, merge that part of the list, merge that part of the list by calling merge sort every single time, and then merging them together. So there's a sorting part and there's a merging part. Um, <clears throat> the sorting part is expressed right here. So t of n, this is a recursive a re recurrence relationship, t of n will be equal to 2 times t of n over 2. So we've divided our list into 2 and we've called back the same merge sort once more. So this is expressed by this term. And um, we're going to have this, putting them back together, so the merging process is actually going to be a, uh, will take actually c times n steps. Why? Because you're going to have to compare elements to the next uh, elements from each list to the elements of the other list. And if this one turns out to be less than that one, then you would put this one first in the merged list. And then you would add this one and keep on actually comparing and so on and so forth. So um, if you expanded this recurrence relationship using backwards substitution, you would end up with a bunch of CNs. So these are all the merging steps, and it turns out that there are quite a few. And then there's this uh, final base step, which is just multiplied by n. Uh, and and uh, the number of times we're going to have uh, cn elements is log, uh, log, log n base 2. And this for the same reason that we looked at in the recursive power step and the binary search step, where this is the number of times you could divide n by 2. How many times can you divide n by 2? Because this will determine when you're going to stop at 1 here. And it's basically a log n base 2. Um, so we'll have cn times log n base 2 plus n times some constant element. So our big O of n will be as follows. This is for merge sort.